me and you are about to fall out. First of all, I love Oka Ortega. You know, when I heard they're getting back together, I literally DM them until they asked me. I was like, when you get back together, send me the song. When you get back together, send me the song. And then their manager actually messaged me. I was like, don't worry, I'll send it to you. I was like, ah! <laughs> My name is Dina Hassanin. I am a presenter producer from London. I present on red carpets, on TV, digital, and I also have an Arab and North African radio show called Triple AZT, which stands for All Arabic, All Zatayn. Tribe Urban Radio. Baskutayam Armisha on Triple AZT, All Arabic, All Zatayn. Shout out to all my crunchy biscuits. And I'm not being weird, Baskutayam Armisha literally translates to crunchy biscuit. I used to be a teacher and I have no idea why I went into teaching. Genuinely, I, I don't really know how it happened. It was more like I studied economics and politics and I was like, I don't know what I want to do with my life. So kind of went into teaching, but I hated the job as a whole. I, I'm too fun for it, <laughs> basically. I decided to quit and just pursue a job in media. It's something I never thought was possible for me because growing up in the UK, not many people that look like me are on TV. So I said, if I don't do it now, I'm never gonna try. So then I just started making up concepts, pitching it to radio shows. And then, yeah, now we're here. So Triple A's a T. It is a Arabic and North African music show. Anyone who's making music in Arabic or is from North Africa or is of Arab descent or identifies as an Arab, I play music by them. So you've got music by Egyptians, Moroccans, Tunisians, Palestinians, everywhere basically from the Arab and North African regions. I'm gonna try my hardest to get through this without losing composure and having a little bit of a fangirl moment because I have two words for you, okay? Big hass. I fangirl over everyone. There's no one I don't fangirl over, by the way. Like, trying to get the artists to come on the show, like, and just stalking them is one of my favorite parts. And be like, hey, because obviously when you send emails, people are really busy, etc. So when you finally get that answer, I'm literally like, oh my God. But um, for me, it was, it's just so nice to be in a space where I don't have to think about who I am or who I need to be. I'm just myself. I am literally, what you're, see, what you're seeing right now is what I'm like on the radio show, playing some tunes, giving people a little bit of a story, where the artists have come from, different types of music, and it's like, this is what I love doing, and not for one second do I need to think about, am I British enough or am I Arab enough? It's literally just me. So and so is Muslim too. Do, do you know them? Probably, we're all in one big WhatsApp group. You just tell me which one you're looking for, I'm sure I'll find it. When I create content, it's more about things I care about, and. I'm guessing the piece of content you're talking about is Misconceptions, and that was a series about tackling Islamophobic comments in a light-hearted, comedic way. One of the most fun projects I've ever worked on, and I'm super proud of it. For me, it wasn't a case of, I need to show people that Muslims are people too, which sometimes I feel like people need that reminder. It wasn't that. It was more just to highlight the stupidity, which is why I was like, you know what? Let's bring all these stupid comments that people have about Muslims, all these stupid ideas that have come from nowhere and just assumptions, and let's just turn it into some comedy, man. And that's literally what happened. The future for Triple A's of tea, I want to keep amplifying voices from Arab and North African regions, for sure. That's definitely something I really want to do. I want to do more co-host slots. I want to get people that love music from a particular region to come on and talk about their region, because I don't know everything. So if your passion is Palestinian music, I would love to have you on my show and you can do a, you can do a takeover. That's definitely something I want to do more of. And um, just keep learning and just giving people a good Sunday, just hear some good music and good vibes really.